The stalemate between Israel and the United States over Jewish settlements in the West Bank appears to be coming to a head. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is currently holding talks in London with the US Middle East envoy George Mitchell in an attempt to find a way forward. The meeting's part of a four-day European tour by Mr Netanyahu. Earlier, he met the British Prime Minister Gordon Brown, where he restated his position that there can be no peace agreement until the Palestinians recognise the right of the State of Israel to exist. Middle East correspondent Ben Knight reports. It was a warm welcome, but Benjamin Netanyahu knows he's under pressure to stop Jewish building on Palestinian land. I made clear that a settlement activity was a barrier to a two-state solution. I'm increasingly confident, however, that there is a genuine will to make progress. Benjamin Netanyahu will negotiate on settlements, but not on the controversial moves by Jewish hardliners into the mostly Arab neighbourhoods of East Jerusalem. Uh, to put a fine point on it, I said Jerusalem is not a settlement. European governments are some of Israel's toughest critics. And despite dropping hints that a deal with the US on settlements might be inching closer, Benjamin Netanyahu's position hasn't changed, including his new requirement that in order for any agreement to be reached, Palestinians must recognise Israel as a Jewish state. The settlement issue is outstanding. It has to be one of the issues resolved in the negotiations alongside with the Palestinian recognition of the Jewish state and effective demilitarization arrangements for any future peace agreement. But our position is that Jerusalem is the united capital of the Jewish people. Even so, Mr Netanyahu has said that talks with the Palestinians could begin again next month. But just hours after the Prime Minister left Israel, his Palestinian counterpart announced his own plan to start building a state anyway, without waiting for the Israelis to pull out. This is the path to freedom. This is the path to the creation of the independent state of Palestine. Salam Fayyad wants a viable Palestinian state within two years, with strong security forces, public services, even an international airport, as a way of forcing Israel's hand. We look forward to continued regional and international support to establish Palestine as an independent, democratic, progressive and modern Arab state with full sovereignty over its territory in the West Bank and Gaza on the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as its capital. Neither artificial dates nor arbitrary uh, deadlines are going to work. They have never worked in the past, and it is not serious. Uh, what is going to make a Palestinian state viable is the end of conflict, the end of all the Palestinian claims, meeting us halfway uh, with the political compromises, and of course, sitting without, without preconditions. There are other roadblocks too. The West Bank is still occupied by Israeli troops, and Gaza is well beyond the Palestinian Authority's control. And neither of those situations appear likely to change soon. Ben Knight, Lateline.